Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Doors teaser trailer that just released. Now, I've already watched this once through, and it looks really, really interesting, but I'm just going to let you guys watch it once through uh, just really quickly here, and then we're going to go in and try to break down what we are looking at. So let's just take a quick look here. The rules have changed. Doors Hotel Plus update, December 2022. Rules have changed. Thank you for, was that a billion visits? That's a lot of visits. Okay, so that is a look at our trailer here. So it looks really, really interesting. And there's a little bit going on here. It doesn't look like it's going to be a massive update from what I've seen here. Since this is just the Hotel Plus update, I don't think that this is going to include whatever lies below the hotel after we've gone down that elevator. Um, I think this is just revamping the hotel and making it look a little bit more interesting and have like a couple extra gameplay features because uh, having played through the hotel so many times now and even speed running it, you can get through the hotel pretty quick and adding a couple new like little things to make it harder might make it a little bit more interesting. But uh, let's just go through really quickly. And I just want to see. So yeah, we're definitely still in the hotel. Because you can tell by like the coloring and just like the way the lights are set up. The doors look the same. Uh, maybe if I move back a frame. Okay, so I'm wondering... If this room right here is where you get the cross, because we can kind of see like a little plus sign up here and what looks to be like hospital beds almost or something like that. Because we also got like the privacy screen. So I'm wondering if this is maybe like a, a, a hospital or like an infirmary or like some kind of weird looking church section of the map because I'm really thinking like these are hospital beds or stuff because they look different from the regular hotel beds and like I don't think I remember seeing any privacy screens while playing the game beforehand so this is definitely a new kind of room uh, let's just go through here a little bit more and then right here we've got a skull key and a skull lock I'm not sure if this is just going to be the keys, like our regular keys that we're used to. I'm not sure if this is going to be them reskinned, or if these are going to be more challenging keys to get. And I'm not even sure. Can you even see like the door number? No, there's no no door number on this door, which is very strange. I'm wondering if this is going to be like maybe like a challenge door or something special that you have to try to find to enter because I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure that did not have a number on it no there's no number up there on the door it is kind of blurry and like pixely because of YouTube's compression but there is definitely not a number up there which is very actually that that's I'm glad I noticed that because on my first viewing I didn't even notice that but I wonder if this is going to be like some sort of challenge door or maybe some sort of Easter egg or some sort of secret or maybe it'll lead to like a new area. I'm actually not sure. This could even be the thing that leads to where you get the cross, like some sort of closet or something. I have no idea. That's actually really interesting. I want to I want to see what's behind this door when the like update actually comes out because I'm kind of curious because they don't show us what's behind the door do they so we go we unlock it yeah no they don't show us okay interesting
Very interesting. Okay, in our next sort of interesting section here, we've also got a new light source, which is going to be the candle. So we've got the lighter, we've got the flashlight, and now we've got the candle. Um, I'm kind of curious as to where the candle kind of fits into like the hierarchy of lights because it really doesn't seem to be too terribly bright. And like, at least like the lighter kind of like lights up a bubble around you and the flashlight lights up like a cone in front of you. But this doesn't seem like super, super bright at all. Um, and it even like goes out here because we can see the smoke and stuff rising from it. So I don't think there's anything else in this clip. It looks like people are just sort of running around, trying to hide, hop into the closet. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't see any monsters or nothing. Um, now this is the really, really interesting part of this entire trailer. So we've got our couple people being chased by Rush. And as you can see, everybody has kind of grabbed their own place to hide. We know we've, we, we've taken the wardrobes, we've taken the bed. There's not much area else to hide. Actually, there's a new painting in the background that I just noticed. I don't think that one I've seen before in the game. It looks like we've got like teeth or something there. I'm not quite sure, but let's just go forwards a little bit. So then there's the cross, fully put together. And this is why I think the cross might be something that you have to put together because we've got like one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece, five piece, maybe even six pieces of the cross. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not sure. I wonder if maybe if you build the cross throughout the game and then you use it on Rush Rush drops that special skeleton key. You take the skeleton key, unlock the skeleton door, and maybe that's a secret ending? Uh, that That's just speculation. I, I've got no idea, but... So we're going through here, and boom, we can see it is immediately used on Rush. As he comes to the door here, all the hiding spots are taken, obviously. So we pull out the cross, and it just immediately locks him down and I think that might be like a one-time use kind of thing because we can see that it's sort of floating in the air there it's being actually sort of like moved towards him kind of it's kind of hard to see because like rush shakes everything and uh it's really dark but I'm I'm really wondering if that's how you get the skeleton key because like he's kind of got like a skeleton kind of head so I wonder if he drops the skeleton key. You take the skeleton key, move further through the level, that spawns the skeleton door, and then you unlock it. Or maybe you have to backtrack to try to find it. I don't know, but that's really interesting. And I also wonder if this would remove Rush from the game permanently after he's been locked down. Because Ambush would still exist, but Rush would... It would make the game harder, even, because Ambush might be become, like, the regular Rush, which would be interesting. That's really cool. Okay. So that happens. Then we get doors. You can see in the background that our cross is splitting apart. So that's why I'm thinking that it is going to be a one-time use kind of thing. So we're moving through here. Let's just skip a little bit further. Hotel Plus update coming out in December. And that is pretty much it. So the rules have changed i'm not quite sure what that could mean like the rules as in maybe you don't have to fear rush now but maybe you have to take advantage of him to get that key i don't know i have no idea but it is a very very interesting trailer and i gotta say i love the music to doors it is like top tier music it sounds really good but um, I just want to watch it through one more time just to see if I missed anything. But I don't think I have. So we're here. We're in sort of like the hospital type room. We got the key. Open that special door. Didn't have numbers on it, so it might be something else. There's the candle. Cross is coming together. Everybody else is hiding. Here comes Rush. And boom. Immediately locked him down. Hmm. Okay, I think I've gotten a pretty good look at it. 
there is a lot going on here, and we've only really got to wait one month for this to come out. So I'm very, very excited. I'm not sure if this is going to come out December 1st. Actually, let me check the description really quickly. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about when exactly it comes out. So it could come out December 1st. It could come out December 31st. Come out, could come out on Christmas. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm very excited for this update. And I just, I want to see what's behind that skeleton door because... I think that might house some kind of secret, maybe a secret ending, I don't know, but uh, cool stuff, really cool stuff, trailer looks awesome, and I'm excited for this update to come out. So let me know down in the comments below, guys, what are your thoughts on this trailer? Did I miss anything? I think I've pretty much covered everything relatively thoroughly, but uh, hey, there's always something I can miss, and I love doors a lot, so if you notice anything, let me know. But other than that, guys, that is all I've got for this video. If you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye!